Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenogears. All right. So, Faye has uh, just been pretty much a jerk to Ellie. Um, and, uh, but we don't want to... Oh. Don't run away. Be a man and confront the problem. Well, shoot. I kind of wanted to see if I could shop. All right. Well. Oh. Hey, stupid, it's the other room. Well, excuse me. All right. Probably should have tried going into the engine room. Ah, uh, sorry about what happened. Forgive me, but I want to explain. Now, for the first time, people on both Earth and Solaris are becoming one. But then not all of them are strong like the crew of this ship, or the people in Shiva. Even we almost lose sight of our future at times. So you can imagine what regular people go through. That's why people need someone like you to depend on, as a light to guide us. You freed the hearts of the people that have been used as tools by the min by that ministry for hundreds of years. Ellie, it was you! And now your body doesn't just belong to you alone anymore. That... that sounds kind of creepy, actually, Faye. I I'm not sure if that's the best line to use. That's why I can't let you go in... That's why I can't let you be in any danger. That's why I can't... And that's why I don't want you to fight anymore. It's funny, isn't it? Huh? We used to be enemies, but now we're together like this. In the beginning, I think I saw myself in you. We seem to overlap. You being in a similar situation as I was in. When I was with you, I didn't feel alone or apprehensive. That's why I thought I liked you. But it wasn't that. I simply didn't have the courage to look at my true self. I turned to you to run away from it all. I mistook that for love. But it's different now. I can face my own problems. I am me. And you are you. It has all been become clear to me now. I also learned that I really do need you. It's not because I need you as a sanctuary for my problems. I need you because I truly love you. Ellie. I know what you're saying, Faye. I know why you're so con concerned for my safety. But you know, I'm scared. I fear we may never see each other again. I just have this feeling. Don't worry, I won't die. No, it's not that. It it's something completely different. It's as if I'm being torn apart by something I can't resist. That I'm no longer me. Even if you come back safely. It's still... It just feels so uneasy. That is why I need to go with you. I can't bear to be away from you. I feel the same way. Ever since that... The time I met you in, the fo in that forest. I think it's the same feeling that you've been having. I was also running to you. But I have to solve my own problems. I can't throw my problems onto you. There's another me. It is within me. I fear that at any moment, id may awaken within me. You're the only one that has been able to keep me from giving in to id. It was because you were always by my side that I was still able to keep myself, keep from losing myself. I promise you that I will return. So, that is... Ellie, I want you to be the reason to return. I want you to be my reason to return. To be my home that I can return to. Ellie, if you will wait for me to come back, even if we are in totally different places, as long as you will stay by my side, I know I'll be able to do anything. Oh, Faye. That's so sweet. Still kind of cheesy lines there. Well, hello! Guess we know what happened last night. Are you going now? Yeah, sorry. Did I wake you? It's okay. I've been awake all along. All along? Uh-huh. 
I was watching over you while you slept. Before I realized it, it was morning. Well, I'm off. Alright then, do be careful. Yeah, I will. Oh, could you hold on to this for me? What is this? Is this a pendant? I don't know whose it is. It seems it was on me when I'm, when I was brought into Lahan, Lahan. It could be mine, or it could be... It could be... Oh, nothing. Will you just hold on to it for me? Alright, I'll hold on to you. I'll hold on to it for you. Thanks. Well, I guess it's goodbye. Oh, you should know you shouldn't say goodbye. Oh, Faye. Yeah? Thank you. Ellie, are you okay about this? Don't you want to be with him? Yes, but it's because I believe in him. Just being close to a person is not in it not in itself an indication of love, is it? But men are selfish. When something big happens, they say, It's too dangerous, you can't come. They treat women like we are weaklings. Although it is true I can't help Bart and friends much anymore. That's not true. Everyone wants someone special waiting for them. Someone who will protect a place that they can return to. If you don't have that peace of mind, then you would not be able to get anything done. Men try to tough it out as much as they can, and then some. They're cute the way they do that, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Anyway, we have things to do now, too. And while we do them, let's pray that everyone comes back safely. To God? No. To your own innermost feelings that everyone believes in. What's wrong? I knew it. Yes, that must be it. What? Ellie, it's like everyone says. You must be a reincarnation of Sophia. You have no way of knowing the Nisan sex teachings, but what you say... Well, it's exactly the same as what Sophia always said. Yes, that might be it. The first time I visited here, I had the most amazing feeling. Familiar. Sad. Like I had visited here many times in my dreams. Clearly it's a dream. It's in sepia tone. I know where each room is and what's in them. I just know I must have been here in the distant past. Before, if you had spoken of this, I'd have brushed it all off with a laugh. But now... Now I can believe... Now I can more or less believe it. The things I couldn't do then probably trying to do now. Things you couldn't do? Yes, things I couldn't do. Eldridge? Oh, so that's Mahanon. Driving back the Salarian Interceptor forces, we took to the floating continent, Mahanon. Yep, it's all coming back full circle. It was the central hull of a colossal spacecraft with a diameter of at least 40 Celts. Yep, the Eldridge. Judging from the condition of the hull, we estimated the ship was thousands of years old. Yeah, you remember the opening movie? Like I said, remember the opening movie? It was determined by examining the inside of the wreckage that some kind of accident occurred on this ship about 10,000 years ago, which forced it to crash onto our planet. 
remember the opening movie. Alien beings that, cut, that came to our planet from a far-off galaxy eons ago. Could it possibly have been that our ancestors were the passengers of this ship and it crash-landed here on this planet? Seeking God and his divine wisdom, Razael's tree, which it is said lie here in Mahanan, we proceeded further. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and save it. <clears throat> All right, so uh, we have an upcoming. Uh, uh, well, actually, the next battle isn't going to be too bad. Um, above Mahan. I wonder if there's going to be something else. All right, this next battle isn't going to be that important. Um, it's not really gonna gonna be that tough even. Yeah, let's go ahead and continue the game. I've saved it, so if I screw up something, I can come back. Hopefully, I can make changes after this. Oh, you know I have not upgraded Antari. I probably should not have brought Antari along. Oh well. In the depths depths, we saw an alien form. It was partially rotted, petrified giant, grotesque being. It's kind of like the anima relic rooms, though. It gave off an inexplicable air of intimidation. Perhaps it was more than a gut reaction. Perhaps it was the fear of the absolute that came from her, the very depths of our inherited instincts. Oh, crap, it's attacking us? What the hell is this thing? Let's just go ahead and boost her. Boost her. Boost her. Deus! Oh, enemy and ally hit points halved. Oh, well, um... Let's actually go ahead and just charge a bit. See what what it's gonna do. Yeah, let's just attack it a bit. Oh. It healed. That's not good. What are you about to do, Deus? Yeah, okay. Um Did did the game lock up on me or something? I hope it's not bugged out. I think it bugged out. It's not doing anything. I will be right back. Okay, trying again. Apparently the game does have a habit of uh, freezing up at this point, so we will be careful. Um, although I've never actually seen it freeze before. Personally, I mean. Uh, so I guess we'll find out. Yep. It'll go ahead and have everyone's hit points. Let's see if it happens again. Might have to make some changes to the... Uh Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. Got a second one off. Good. Alright, so now it's down to uh, 10,000 hit points. Let's go ahead and... I guess we'll start up System Id. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so it has 10,000 hit points left, so I can't do anything about that. Let's see, do I have, um... Gear attack up and defense down. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, 
Okay, good. Didn't freeze. I like to hear that. So he's down to 5,000. Um, let's see if this is going to work. You're going to do enough damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he slashes and then dies. Good news, everyone! We killed God! Got a ton of experience for it. I got a couple levels out of it. Let's see... Uh, I would have liked some more points and various things. Ooh, Big Bang learned. Oh, that was a crappy level up uh, scene. Your ether ability went up. I'm, I'm happy about that. We got 30,000 gold. Good news. So yes, that was the ultimate power. Like I said, good news everyone, we killed God. The partially rotted thing eventually self-disintegrated. We proceeded even further. Oh. oh I love this uh, footage. We came to an enormous cavern that was big enough to swallow the whole capital of Ave. That's pretty big. In its center were two gently glowing objects. They're giant memory cubes. It was a source of divine wisdom. It was Razael's tree. Can't do anything just yet. Just sitting here. And the cavern itself was a giant computer called Razael. Actually, maybe I should use the pronunciation from the uh, opening footage. Raziel. Raziel. Actually, I think they might have said Razier. I don't know. I'd have to go back and rewatch it. The wisdom of God hidden within Razael. We found the unthinkable when we accessed its data. A large unmanned strategic weapon and its battalion of terminal interface weapons, traveling from star system to star system, and a gargantuan mothership used to carry them. The creation of the Moloch Angel. God's army to reign over the vast universe with, and the construction of a divine ark. These weapons were called Yabe, the Interplanetary Invasion Weapon System. What the Gazal Ministry was pursuing was right here. That looks familiar from the uh, opening movie, too. Isn't that what we just fought? According to the data, the giant rotting organism we just defeated was in fact the nucleus of this system. We were on the verge of accessing the data for the object called Zohar. Central neural circuit and power source controlling the entire system from the weapons to the mothership. Oh. When suddenly he appeared. Ah, the hidden data, for data from Razael's tree. Move away from there. This matter is far too weighty for the likes of you. We must protect it with our lives. We can't let them have the Raziel data. You handle them. I will try and ex try and extract as much data as I am able to. If anything goes wrong, we will destroy this place. Is it going to put me into combat with just two people? Oh, damn. Alright, well, anyway, you're technically not supposed to win this battle. It is possible to win it, but it is extremely difficult, and I am not going to try right now. I don't- I really don't have the- uh, I, I have not purchased the, the equipment that I really needed to, uh, 
do so. But we'll give it a good go. And of course, since I brought Seton along in here with me, I only have two people, which is, you know, stupid. So, there goes, uh, Emerald. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. And notice the name of his uh, unit, Alpha Welltall. I don't think we've actually not um, noted the name of that uh, gear before. Yeah, it is Alpha Welltall. Yeah, that's not much damage, is it? I think I'm dead. Yep. Yeah, so you're really not supposed to win that battle. Ugh. You can actually get a, a an item called a Slayer Robe if you're able to defeat him, but uh, no. I'm, I'm not even going to bother trying. Um, the, the main tactics are basically uh, involve uh, equipping a whole bunch of... Uh, uh, let me see... Uh, well, you want to use a Sonic G-Whip on Bart because he'll break uh, uh, the Ether Machine... Um, give everyone a bunch of power magics, magnetic coats, evasion rings, let me see what else everyone gets. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of what it boils down to, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah not worth trying for for me, honestly. Um, but yeah, Alpha Welltall, um, his unit is the, uh, same as Faze. I guess that's all you can take for now. Are you frustrated? But that is only natural. After all, you are imperfect. Imperfect? Yes, you are lacking now. The absence of wrath is an impediment to your to the you to you utilizing your true strength. R wrath? The drive to massacre and annihilate, the compulsion to destroy your opponent. Such wrath is power for the uh, power for the soul. By eliminating your foe, you attain your first sublimation of that drive. It is this very sublimation that draws out the hidden powers within oneself, but clinging to reason, suppressing your wrath and desire, makes releasing your true power a dream within a dream for you. You already know this. When wrath appeared in your heart, the machine responded, did it not? drew out such power from your machine was truly the drive of your soul. It was your id. The sign of the purpose you've been seeking. The mark of a natural-born assassin. You're wrong. That's absolutely untrue. I, I'm not id. I... The time has come. I'll take your soul and draw its power out to the limit. Enough. Huh? What are you stopping me for? He is bait. If you kill the bait, the precious bird we wish to capture will fly away. Incidentally, this all happens even if you win the battle. Yeah. You know, a very important bird needed to fulfill my earnest desire. You understand, don't you, Lacan? Uh, why? No. Mm, suit yourself. We shall crucify them. Um, no thanks, please. I'll pass. In the land of Golgotha, to the west of here, collect all the broken gears.